Good evening, I'm Tanner Hesterberg. And I'm Erica Glover. First on Mountain News at 11, fire departments in our region could be at risk of losing funding if lawmakers do not act soon. Congress passed a bill last year that funded the Department of Homeland Security through the end of this month. And if legislators do not approve a budget for the department in the next few weeks, many fire departments that rely on Homeland Security grants might see that money disappear. I talked to two fire officials in eastern Kentucky about what this could mean for their departments. Real fortunate to have one. Roger Friley is chief of the Jackson Fire Department in Breathitt County. He applies for grants every year through the Department of Homeland Security to supplement the funding Jackson firefighters receive from the state and other sources. But if they keep uh, decreasing Homeland Security, that means that uh, it's going to be harder to get the grants. And uh, that's really going to hurt the departments. While paid fire departments like the one here in Jackson could suffer from Homeland Security budget cuts, volunteer fire departments could feel the negative effects as well. Steve Argonis, the assistant chief at Lost Creek Volunteer Fire Department in Perry County, says his department has received Homeland Security grants in the past to help pay for a new fire truck, equipment, and training materials. But without uh, a certain minimum amounts of funding, we use older equipment, uh, it's not as safe for us. It's not as effective for uh, uh, for the people that we protect, and uh, we, we can't take advantage of a lot of, the, of, of a lot of the technology that uh, that we have available. Argonis also says decreased funding for firefighters could lead to an increase in homeowners insurance premiums as fire officials wait to see if Congress will act in time to preserve some of the resources they depend on. Now, lawmakers are debating bills that would fund the Department of Homeland Security until the end of the fiscal year, but so far have not passed anything.